मिस्टर डिप्टी स्पीकर सर देयर इज अ बैन ऑन ट्रांसपोर्टिंग एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम वन पार्ट टू अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट सेशन द हॉनरेबल मिनिस्टर हैड अनाउंसड दैट दिस बैन विल बी लिफ्टेड बट इट हैज नॉट बीन डन टिल नाउ द फार्मर्स आर अनेबल टू टेक दियर प्रोड्यूस टू एनी पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ टोटल नेग्लेक्ट टूवर्ड्स एग्रीकल्चर द एलोकेशन गिवेन टू दिस फील्ड हैज डिक्रीज फ्रॉम फोर परसेंट टू थ्री परसेंट इन द एनुअल प्लान आउटले द अप एलोकेशन फॉर नेशनल बैंक फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट is going down in every annual plan ever since the annual plan of 2012-13 similarly only 6% amount has been provided for loans and electricity there has been no considerable increase in it in the last year This step of the government is totally unjustified towards the farmers and agriculture. The continuous decrease in the groundwater level is also a matter of grave concern. Ever since the Congress party has come to power, there has been 10% difference between the estimated capacity and actual utilization of irrigation potential if this gap had been filled it would have increased the food grain production not only our country would have become self reliant in food grains but it would have been also able to export them several big projects are lying pending and near about 70% of land is deprived of irrigation same is the condition of forest areas also wherever there are congress governments they have grossly violated the interests of the farmers the network of multinational companies is spreading in our country which will create problems for the farmers their interests are being mortgaged in the hands of foreign powers due to this region the country is becoming dependent on others and it can jeopardize our political and social freedom mr deputy speaker sir it is bad luck that our farmers are not organized today but the day they become organized they can revolt since the time this congress government has been formed it is not even ready to accept rightful demands unless such activities as sabotage economic blockade and gherav are adopted the government is not able to understand the problem so i would like the government not to create so much problem for the farmers that they are compelled to revolt mr deputy speaker sir my party and myself totally oppose the dunkel proposals it is very regretful 
दैट दीज प्रपोजल्स हैव कास्ड इन फाइटिंग एमंग द कैबिनेट मेंबर्स वन ऑफ योर मिनिस्टर्स सेज दैट एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ आवर कंट्री विल इंक्रीज विद द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ डेंकल प्रपोजल्स एंड अनदर मिनिस्टर सेज दैट सच एक्सेप्टेंस विल डिस्ट्रॉय आवर कंट्री सो देयर इज डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन इन द कैबिनेट आल्सो वन मिनिस्टर इज अपोजिंग वाइल अनदर मिनिस्टर इज सपोर्टिंग द डंकल प्रपोजल्स वेन देयर इज सो मच डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन इन द कैबिनेट इट सेल्फ वाट राइट दे हैव टू रिमेन इन गवर्नमेंट वन ऑफ द टू मिनिस्टर्स शुड गो द मिनिस्टर हु इज अपोजिंग हिज गवर्नमेंट्स पॉलिसी शुड रिजाइन इफ द गवर्नमेंट इज रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट द डंकल प्रपोजल्स द एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर शुड रिजाइन and if the government is not accepting the proposals the commerce minister should resign as he was praising the proposals when the farmers resort to agitation for their demands the entire government will have to resign mr deputy speaker sir Our country is severely affected by drought at present. Odisha, Bihar, Maharashtra, and eastern part of Uttar Pradesh are affected by drought, but our central government decides everything in a haphazard manner. The Prime Minister surveys a state for once and gives rupees ten crores. Rupees twenty crores are rupees fifty crores. Then he goes to another state. Such a haphazard manner cannot solve the problem. There should be a permanent solution. Even after sixty-five years. of independence the government has not been able to control drought maximum rain water is wasted and there is no storage facility sir andhra pradesh is also severely affected by drought and the situation has become so worse that the farmers are forced to kill their own children neither there is fodder nor water for their cattle sir it is just opposite in karnataka it is affected by floods which have caused a lot of damage on the one hand there is devastation due to heavy rains on the other hand there is suffering due to drought i have read the draft of the agriculture policy i do not think that the honorable minister of agriculture has paid any attention towards this problem i would like to submit that this agriculture policy is unfavorable to the farmers no facilities are being provided to them and agricultural inputs are being made costlier injustice is being done to them 80% of the population of this country are cultivators and the government should think about their welfare if this is not done then 80% population will resort to agitation as i have said earlier also